have to admit that I am a huge eBay and AliExpress shopper. Um, so I decided to make this video showing what I have recently purchased and received from these sites. Um, basically because I love watching these kind of videos myself um, and getting a lot of inspiration and uh, reviews on what to buy and what not to buy. So I have a lot of items here to show and it ranges from jewelry to makeup, clothes and home accessories. So let's just get started. Um, I think we will start off with the jewelry. I have this necklace. Very long, beautiful necklace. We have this tennis bracelet, which honestly I have wanted a real diamond tennis bracelet for so long, um, but they are extremely expensive, of course. Um, and I think I paid around ten dollars for this, so you can't really go wrong. It's such good quality. Um, and I think it is Swarovski crystals and real silver. At least it said so, but I know you can't always trust what it says on the ads. Mm. We have this necklace. Cute silver necklace with these um, initial discs. I don't know if you can tell. It says M N M, and that is for myself and my boyfriend. And I just think it's really cute. Um, these were a tad more expensive um, than some of the initial discs you can buy from eBay. Um, but also these are such higher quality. I have tried purchasing the one dollar um, necklaces and I basically just put them in a drawer and the next day they were green because they were such bad quality. And I've had these for a while and uh, it says that it is real silver. Um, I'm not completely convinced, at least it is silver plated, um, but they're really good quality and they, they still look very pretty. Then we have another initial necklace. It is this, just an M for my name. And this is amazing. I absolutely adore this. Um, honestly, I recommend anyone to go get this. Um, it's not one of the most cheap things you can find on eBay, um, but for the price, the quality is absolutely amazing. And uh, as you can tell, it's like kind of crooked on, and I love it. I think I would pay $12 for this, and it's one of my all-time <laughs> favorites. So, absolutely love it. And you can just tell it's good quality. It's, it's heavy, um, and it just looks beautiful. Still, I had it for, I think, six months now, and it's still absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the last piece of jewelry we, we have here is this ring, which I am also completely in love with. Um, I bought it in rose gold and it has a bunch of crystals, as you can tell. Um, it is so beautiful and I absolutely adore it. I, I bought it on sale, I think I paid like $4 for it, so that's extremely cheap and the quality is great too. Um, I've bought a lot of jewelry uh, on AliExpress and eBay and honestly, I'd rather pay $4 for a ring than $1 um, and get a bunch of crap. Um, I have been the proud owner of a bunch of crap from AliExpress and eBay because I just saw these amazing deals and I was like, what? $1 for a necklace? Who can say no? Um, but I should have. I should have said no because I never wore them and they broke and they started looking uh, really worn out, even though I hadn't even worn them. So, um, if you're willing to pay just a little extra for jewelry, you can get amazing jewelry. Like, this looks like I paid a hundred dollars for it. I absolutely love it. The next thing we have is some makeup. Um, I have six of these lipsticks. And these are the Eye Magic um, Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And uh, honestly, I don't think I've ever worn lipstick before. Like, I've worn red lipstick to go clopping or something, but that's it. Um, and yes, it was Kylie Jenner who had me loving these matte lipsticks. 
these were about two dollars a piece and absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm wearing number four right now. If you can tell, I love it. <laughs> and really, I'm not a person who has lipstick, but I just fell in love with these matte lipsticks. Uh, let me just swatch them for you here. I have, let's see, number one, number two, number three, number four, and number eight. So let's just start with number one. And it looks like this. And of course, it looks creamy when you put it on, um, but it dries and gets matte. And so, and you probably know these kind of lipsticks are amazing. Okay, this one just broke, um, <laughs> but I think we can make it work. I mean, you pay two dollars. What do you expect? And they are so smooth when they go on. And that was number two. Number three, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. This dark, amazing color. Number four. No, wait, this is the one I'm wearing. Sorry, number three is amazing as well. I absolutely love them. And then we have number eight, which is it's probably a color that I'm not going to wear. Um, it's so bright and I'm not, <laughs> but it's still beautiful and they're amazing. Um, and they look like this. Number one, two, three, four, and eight. And of course, there are more shades than these. So I'll just let them dry and I'll show them to you again when they are dry. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, I have some things for the home. This bouquet of flowers. <laughs> I think it's so gorgeous. And of course, this is artificial flowers. And they have a stem too. And that's so pretty and they were really cheap as well i think i paid like four dollars for these and i honestly think you can get like a bunch of beautiful artificial flowers off of aliexpress and ebay so go check it out <laughs> okay we have this dream catcher and i think it's so cute and i paid like one dollar for it how amazing is that and it's like um this faux suede material with I don't know if it's if it's real feathers. It looks like real feathers. It's just beautiful. And this hangs above our bed, and I have not had any nightmares since I put it up there. Just saying. Also, we have some pillows. Um, as you're gonna <laughs> get to tell from the next pillows I'm gonna show you, I love this better. Um, when I bought these pillows. It was only the pillowcase, so the filling in the pillows I paid for myself, um, but I actually don't mind. I think I paid like between five and ten dollars a piece, um, which is really cheap. I mean, I mean, I guess you can go to some local local stores and get pillowcases for the same price. Um, I just haven't been able to find any that I really loved, um, and I think that these complement our living room really well. Um, I love the blue color, <laughs> of course I love the pattern. Um, so I had to get those. I had the filling the fill, filling pillows. I don't even know what, what that's called. The Well, the, the actual pillows inside, I had those already. Um, but I guess you can get them for like really cheap at any local store. So that's fine. I have a few accessories. I have this cap. <laughs> I think it's so much fun. I honestly am not the kind of girl who wears any kind of hat, not even during the winter. Like I walk around with red ears because I'm freezing my ass off um, just because I don't like wearing hats. I have my bangs and when you put on a hat, it pushes down the bangs and that looks awful. <laughs> I mean, but I've seen people wearing caps and I think it looks so cute. So. I had to try and get one and I think I paid three four dollars for this so as a starting hat it's cheap and I had to try actually on the picture I thought it was gonna be like PU leather you know faux leather um, but it's like this kind of nylon material I mean, it's really cute I'm not gonna put it on. <laughs> oh my god I look like a hip hopper right now okay just gonna take that off but still when I actually put it on it looks cute um, still pushes down my bangs and everything but that's okay we have this fur 
plushy keychain. And this is faux fur. It's really cute and was like a dollar, even less, I think. So for your bag or keychain, or maybe it's a bit big for a keychain, I guess. But for your bag, pretty cute. I have a scarf, which looks so expensive, doesn't it? I mean, seriously, it looks like silk and it's just polka dotted and lace. It doesn't really complement my blouse, but. And this was like extremely cheap as well. I think I paid a dollar fifty for it or something. So I got my mom one as well. <laughs> okay, the last accessory before we move on to clothing is this bag. And I am pretty sure everyone who's ever shopped on eBay or AliExpress has seen this bag. And it is of course inspired by the Stella McCartney bag, which I have been wanting for a while. Um, but this was like $20, even less maybe. So I bought this in the, ch the chains here. Um, you can just tell that they are good quality. They're heavy and they're not like plastic and light. Um, it is faux leather, but it looks so great. I don't know if you can tell how it reflects in the sunlight. Um, and I'm actually using this now, uh, this right now. So it's filled with a bunch of crafts. So I'm not gonna show you the inside, but it is, Leopard printed, which I actually don't like, but who cares? Who's gonna see the inside of your bag? Okay, then we have some clothes. Um, let's just start from an end. We have this cropped top, which is knitted. Whoops. Just this popular kind of cropped top. And I think it was one size and even though I am a European size medium, it still fits me. I have bigger boobs and it still fits me, so <laughs> that's great. Um, I actually didn't expect it to, but I think I paid $7 for it. So even if it didn't fit, I kind of be okay with it. So next thing. Okay, <laughs> this is probably even gonna look worn on camera because I have worn this so much. I absolutely love this top. And it is this striped top. Um, it's like really wide on the bottom, but um, on me at least it is kind of cropped. It's not a cropped top, but it's not full length either. But also I'm really tall. I am. Um, 180 centimeters and I guess that's like 511 if you're from America um, and don't use the metric system so if you are not as tall as me it's probably gonna be full length um, but I absolutely love this this is the thing I have bought from AliExpress that I have used the most um, I think for a while I used it like three times a week it's Amazing and I paid like six dollars for it. I guess um, it was so cheap and it's such good quality I don't even know what it's made from It doesn't say but it feels like cotton just regular cotton um, An amazing top Let's see Okay, so we have this slip dress here um, Just a very simple dress And it was really cheap as well. I think I paid I don't know, eight dollars for it, maybe ten dollars. Um, the, the only thing is, like I just mentioned, I'm a tall girl, and it is too short for me. Like I can wear it as a dress. I've seen people wear it as a dress, and it looks amazing. <laughs> so I'm kind of bummed. Um, I might wear it as a top with just like shorts or skirt or something. I don't know. Um, and I even got it in an extra large, and it's still just really short. But if you're a short girl, I'm sure you're gonna absolutely adore this so what do we have we have a knitted shirt which is so cute I paid a little more for this than I did for the rest of the items I think it was around 15 or 20 dollars um, it just reminds me of the Alexander Wang designs um, 
like with this side at the bottom it's so cute and it just basically looks the same on the back very cute um it is extremely small i i looked at the measurements and i had to get the larger size which was an extra extra large and as i said i'm usually a size european medium and it's almost too little for me still um it does fit but the sleeves are short and the length is short but i guess that's what you have to expect when you purchase something from asia let's see we have another blouse here it's a cute white blouse these like puffy shoulders and like cute detail at the bottom of this, this like frilled peplum bottom this is what it looks like on the back and it is actually really good material um, it's like I don't even know does it say what it's made from why does it never say that? Well, I don't even know what it's made from, but it's like lightweight. Um, it is two layers, but it is a tiny bit see-through. Uh, if you wear a skin colored bra, you're gonna be okay. Um, but I, I think I only wear, I only own like black bras, so I'm in trouble. No, I just wear a top underneath and we're all good. So the next thing here I actually received yesterday and it has the lace-up detail that you probably see everywhere right now um, this is just amazing it's a little wrinkled it came like that uh, it's just really loose and just great material it's absolutely amazing um, I have purchased um, like a body stocking before with this lace up detail on AliExpress and it was just like awful quality. I mean, you could see my nipples through it and everything. Um, this is just great. I am in love with this and it feels really expensive as well. So I really, really recommend this. If you like the lace up trend, then this is for you. Um, <laughs> I kind of feel like a pirate when I wear it. Like my boyfriend, he likes watching uh, these pirate movies and shows and... <laughs> okay, you're probably not gonna like it when I say this, but I still do. Um, the men in these movies wear like exactly the same shirt. But I mean, we're not pirates and I'm still gonna wear it, so... Next thing. Looks like an ordinary striped t-shirt, but you turn it around and see the back and it is cropped on the back. I think it is so cute, like to wear over your bikini or swimsuit, that would be amazing. I don't know, like for everyday use, I don't think I'm gonna use that because I know showing off my back, my lower back, that just seems ridiculous, I guess. But. I don't know, it might be cute. Last up is this knitted dress. And also, this was a tad more expensive um, than some of the other items. Uh, but also, it's probably the item of the best quality that I have shown you. So, it's just this long knitted dress. And then it has um, like a lace bottom. And it also comes with this tie you can just tie around your waist somewhere as a belt so that was my last piece of clothing um let's just go back and look at the lipstick swatches and this is of course what they look like when they are dry uh, 